Coronary heart disease is a non-communicable disease of the coronary arteries. It's a type of cardiovascular disease because it affects the circulatory system. This diagram shows an artery. Remember, arteries carry blood at high pressure from the heart to the organs. The coronary arteries supply the heart muscle with blood containing glucose and oxygen. This allows the heart to continue beating effectively. So how does coronary heart disease develop? Fatty material builds up in the coronary arteries. This causes a narrowing of the arteries. On the left hand side of this diagram, you can see what a healthy artery would look like. Over on the right, you can see this artery is clogged with fatty material, which narrows the artery and reduces the flexibility of the artery walls. What causes this buildup of fat? Coronary heart disease can be caused by an unhealthy lifestyle. High blood pressure can damage the arteries, making coronary heart disease more likely to occur. Smoking and drinking excessive amounts of alcohol can also cause cardiovascular disease. And high cholesterol and a poor diet, high in saturated fat, can also lead to more fatty deposits building up. You might remember that cholesterol is an important biological molecule for cell membranes, but it can lead to cardiovascular disease if it's found in high levels in the blood. Now, let's have a look at the consequences of coronary heart disease. If the coronary arteries are blocked, the heart muscle will not receive enough oxygenated blood. This diagram shows roughly what a heart would look like if it had coronary heart disease. Somebody with a heart that looks like this could end up having a heart attack. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE Biology course. See you there!